Shalom, all praise to Yahweh, Hashem Yahushua, Double Lines the Apostle GMS. This is Am Allah coming at you in this video. In this video, I'm basically um just driving. Now this is how to do a show. I'm not gonna be able to go into the scriptures, obviously, like actually have a Bible before me or going to let a Bible to show you the scriptures on the phone because I'm driving. So I'm just gonna basically speak through the Spirit. Yeah, you know we gotta give diligence to make a calling in the election sure, man. That's in the book of, if I'm not mistaken, First Peter, the first chapter. If not, you could just Google it. Give diligence to make thy calling and election sure. So you got to give diligence, man. You know? When someone is given diligence, that person is focused. That person is dedicated to something. So you got to be diligent for that. Diligent to make a calling and election sure. So you got to do shows, you got to come out, and you got to teach. You got to study, you got to pray, you got to fast. This is what you got to do to give diligence and make your calling and election sure. To make your calling and your election sure, to make it a sure thing. When something is a sure thing, it's a definite thing. Like if somebody says, Am I, are you going to do such and such and such? And you say, yes, yeah, sure. you say, it's a sure thing. Or somebody say, are you, are, is this going to happen? You say, sure thing. You're saying, definitely. So when you make your calling an election sure, you're making your calling to the truth, and you're making your election a sure thing, meaning you're making your election a definite thing. Which we already know, but soon in the book of Ephesians, the first chapter, the elect were already predestined. Okay? You were already predestined. I mean, we were destined beforehand. The elect was already destined beforehand. So whoever the elect is, it was already their destiny to be elect, to be the elect before anything was ever created. So you aren't going to make yourself a part of the elect. But giving diligence to make it calling an election sure is something that, that the elect would do. So if you're being diligent, then guess what? You may very well be a part of the elect. Why do I say you may very well be a part of the elect? Because they may come when you're no longer diligent. You may have been on fire. Meaning have a, have a great fervor. Look at the word uh, fervor. There you go right there. Fervor. Intense and passionate feeling. All right? So you may have had fervor and intense and passionate feeling at one time, but then eventually you might go cold. Nah, you gotta have that fervor at all times. So you gotta fast and you gotta pray. Because what did our Lord say? The one who the world called Jesus Christ, whose name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah, which means he is the deliverer. What did he say? He said, watch, he said to, to the, um, this faith cometh not, but by prayer and fasting. So you got, so in order, so when you boost, you boost up your faith by praying. You boost your faith by fasting. And pursuing in the book of Hebrews 11 and 1, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So if you hope for something that you haven't seen, that's faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when you hope for something, that's the evidence of something that you don't see because you hope for it. Because in the book of Hebrews, the 8th chapter, it tells you why would you hope for something that you don't see. And the reason why I was able to go to that word fervor right there, because I'm basically in a traffic jam. You know? I'm gonna word diligence as a matter of fact. Here's the word diligence. It says, diligence meaning careful and persistent work or effort. So when you're being persistent at something, meaning when you're being constant, you're doing it over and over and over again, consecutively. That's showing diligence. Which goes back to what I said before, being diligent is showing dedication. Because we're in the end of this thing. We got the end of this white man kingdom. We know we say this every week. Yo, so oh we at the end, we at the end of this white man kingdom, which you actually are at the end. We say this commonly, you know, very often, because that's what we should say. You know, because we're hoping for the second coming of our Lord. The one in the world called Jesus Christ. We're hoping for a second coming. So if we're hoping for a second coming, then it's only it only stands the reason that we hope. This kingdom goes down. Because when the Lord comes down, he's coming to take down his kingdom. That's why you read Revelation in the 19th chapter. It speaks about the Lord coming on a white horse. It speaks about the Lord um, having the crowns of these nations upon his head and being called the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's called he's gonna be he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords because he's gonna take down all of the kings of the planet earth, all of the lords of the planet earth. Like king or lord, those are titles. The Lord is going to be the king. The Lord is the king of all kings and the Lord of all lords. Because he took down all the kings and lords of the planet earth. In other words, the Lord took down all of these rulers. Whether they call, whether they call themselves 
prime ministers, what they call themselves presidents, he took them all down. So when it said King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we gotta remember that was written about 2,000 years ago. So it's referencing the titles that people went by back then. The common titles. King and Lord. Those are titles that people, that um, kings went by, that rulers went by thousands of years ago. In today's time, they just call them, you know, presidents, prime ministers. Some may still be called kings. Some may even still be called lord. But still know the kings and the lords of the planet Earth are the rulers of the, are the rulers of the different nations. And the Lord is going to take them down. He's going to put their crowns upon his head. So now he's going to be the king of all kings, lord of all lords. But he's not going to literally put their crown upon his head. Figuratively speaking, in other words, the crown represents rulership. So by him taking down the kings and lords of the planet Earth and putting the crowns upon his head, being called the king of all kings and lord of all lords, he's going to have that title of king of kings and lord of lords because he took down all the rulers of the planet Earth. And now he's the one that's in the power seat. Because right now, this world that we live in is really ran by the devil. The spiritual demon Satan actually controls this world through his physical counterpart, which is the so-called white man, white race, which according to the Bible are Esau, they're the Edomites. Okay? So when the Lord comes back, he has to set up righteousness upon the earth. And in order for the Lord to set up righteousness upon the earth, what does he got to do? He got to take wickedness out of his power seat. All right? And we're supposed to be constantly watching as well as praying. When you watch, to watch means to look. Like I said before, I can't go into pull up the scripture. Let me see it real quick. Here you go right here, Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. So you got to watch and pray always that we may be counted worthy to escape all of these things that come to pass. Because a lot of turmoil is going to come upon the earth. And we got to watch as well as pray. Watch what? Does it mean watch love and hip-hop? Is that what that's talking about? Watch? No. When it says watch, so we, watch we got to watch for current events. Because pursuing the book of Matthew, 21st chapter, 24th chapter, the Lord gave us signs. He gave us signs of His second coming. And the signs that He gave us of His second coming, are there going to be wars and rumors of wars. Earthquakes in diverse places, meaning earthquakes in, in various places around the world. Wars and rumors of war, like I said. So it's going to be wars and it's going to be rumors of war. So you're going to hear about wars happening and, you're going to, and there's going to be rumors of wars. Meaning it's going to be talks of war, but not actual wars. Earthquakes in diverse places. places. Pestilences, which is diseases, sicknesses. Like the COVID-19 coronavirus. So these are the signs of the second coming of the Lord. And if we're watching these things, meaning we're paying attention to the current events, we're watching the news, watching the current events, watching for signs, in other words. Obviously they didn't have televisions back then but when you watch for something you're watching for a sign the news is a sign so when you start seeing wars and rumors of wars pestilences earthquakes in diverse places guess what we know we're getting close to the second coming of the lord so we got to watch as well as pray meaning what when we pray we got to pray uh that the lord strengthens our spirit so that we could be accounted worthy to escape all these things that come to pass and how you be accounted worthy to escape all these things that come to pass you give diligently, calling an election short. And part of that give it done is not, diligence is not just doing shows and coming out to teach, but it's also watching and praying. That's part of di being diligent. All right? That's part of being diligent. And you got to do that consistently. And to be diligent means to show that effort, you know? To show to, um, uh, persistent effort. All right. Watch you therefore and pray always that you may be accounted ready to escape all these things that are going to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. The Son of Man, so boy, Yahweh Shah, who the word early called Jesus Christ. Let me get another scripture. All right. I thought it was First Peter, the first chapter. Second Peter, one and ten. What? Um, wherefore the rather brethren? Wherefore the rather brethren? Give it diligence. To make your calling and election sure. See, so we gotta make our calling and our election a sure thing, a definite thing. For if we do these things, you should never fail. So if we give diligence, we're never gonna fail. We're always gonna prosper. Alright? Prosper in spiritual things. Because give a diligence is, th is something that the elect would do. So if you maintain your faith until the end, you, and it's, that's you standing before the, um, the Son of Man. That's when our calling and election is sure. So only the elect are gonna 
killed Dylan is to make their calling an election sure and stand before the Son of Man. Only look at the nation of Israel. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Based upon your father's line. So with that, I'm going to say, Oh, praise the Halbashim, Shah, Double Nancy, Prophet, Jim Mess, Old Brother, Son of the Shalom.